एवरीवन वेलकम टू द शो द प्लेस वेर वी टॉक अबाउट एवरीथिंग आई एम योर होस्ट पैट्रिक एंड टुडे वी हैव अ वेरी स्पेशल एडिशन आई हैव अ वेरी ग्रेट फ्रेंड दैट इज कमिंग ऑन टुडे टू आवर शो मिस्टर चार्ल्स डार्विन बैक फ्रॉम द डेड एंड एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल आल्सो हैव अ इंटरव्यू विद ब्रिटनी स्पीयर्स हर फर्स्ट इंटरव्यू आफ्टर हर और हिज सेक्स चेंज ओके मिस्टर चार्ल्स डार्विन नमस्ते हाउ आर यू डूइंग Very. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, Mr. Darwin, it looks like you've got a new look. Uh, you shaved the beard. Uh, new yes. shoes. Yes, I have. How are you liking the modern life? It's it's pretty interesting. Oh, really? I've got to say, yes. Do you think uh, we humans have evolved much since you were last alive? Well, you see, evolution actually it takes place over many generations. You see, oh. yes. Um for example, if something like bacteria, they have very short lifetimes. So, in a period of let's say 100 years, there's going to be thousands of generations of bacteria and they can go through a lot of change. But with humans, with our longer lifetimes, um we reproduce less and it takes a lot a lot more time for species such as humans to evolve. Oh wow. That is very interesting. Huh? Yeah. But um uh, Well, so what is this process of evolution? Uh, how do people evolve? Is there a name for it? Is it? Well, you see what I've come to call it is natural selection. It's where you see in in a specific population um there's a great amount of variation between different individuals. They all have different traits and genes. And then you see some individuals are better suited to survive in their environment than others. And um through the process of natural selection the most the most adapted individuals will survive to reproduce and pass on their genes and so over time the the genes that allow them to survive better are you know spread throughout the population and as a whole the population adapts to an environment over time oh my god <laughs> that is amazing um so are there different types of natural selection i mean does it all is it always Well, well so there's natural selection which is where, you know, it's what it, what I just explained. And then um there's also artificial selection which is where someone such as us humans will sort of intervene um and will sort of arrange for certain uh individuals to reproduce together. For example, like let's say a farmer is going to um someone who has cows, he let's say he breeds like the the healthiest oh my god no not cows cows are holy you can't talk about that okay talk about okay well i'm sorry i'm really sorry okay. no it's okay okay it um, is it is common okay no right. problem yeah. um well then in that case let's say someone who who raises uh horses then i i guess they could they could um make sure to breed the horses, the okay. stronger you know more healthy horses uh-huh. and then over time you know their horses that they own are going to be healthier oh yeah oh so it is not nature it is human. right it, that's why it's called artificial <laughs> oh, oh makes sense makes sense mm-hmm. okay we are going to go to a break uh, we'll be right back with you All right guys welcome back All right Mr. Darun we have some more questions for you Um okay first of all what is the difference between between the speed of natural selection and artificial selection Well you see as I said earlier natural selection actually occurs over many generations but um noticeable changes to a population from artificial selection can actually occur a lot faster because you see uh when we select you know which individuals of a certain population of animals or plants are going to reproduce um we can always make sure that the favorable traits are passed on but sometimes in natural selection even the unfavored traits i mean every now and then they still get a chance to reproduce so artificial selection occurs a lot faster okay you know mr darwin uh, 
your theory has given me a lot lot of hope that you know one day i might become you know a big muscular guy running down hollywood with my shirt off and all the blonde chicks coming to me in the bikinis and i was just wondering can this happen to an individual popu person does it have to have happen just to a population well yeah evolution from natural or artificial selection can only happen to a population not to an individual you see even if you were to exercise a whole bunch you know you could become a lot stronger and more fit but that wouldn't really be considered evolution your children that you have you know would still be just as likely to be the same size you know as you were genetically and so um G you know, genes are passed down between generations and only a population can go, not an individual. Oh, that is very sad. <laughs> well, Mr. Darwin, I have just one more question. Um, is there any more types of natural selection that you would like to share with our viewers? Uh, yeah, actually. Um, so, there's... I've found about three different types of natural selection and they're called um, diversifying selection, stabilizing selection, and uh, directional selection. And you see, um, in a population, uh, I'll start with directional selection. That would be, let's say, if there is um, like a change in a population's environment and then um, all the individuals have to, or not the individuals, the population must adapt uh, in a certain direction towards the change. Like, for example, um, during different ice ages, uh, bears, they, they tended to, um, populations of bears tended to increase in size during ice ages, and then they would actually decrease in size over the generations uh, during warmer periods. And then, um, uh, stabilizing selection would be when a diverse population um, tends to sort of come back together into, into one phenotype. Like, for example, uh, when human babies are born, they're, they're healthiest when they weigh about three to four kilograms at birth. And so, uh, this is a type of stabilizing selection where, where babies, you know, where humans are born at closer together uh, weights. And then lastly, uh, diversifying selection, uh, oh, 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 sorry. Uh, go sorry. Uh, no, no. No, it's very interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> but I'm sorry, we've run out of time. Um, oh, wait, no, no, go on, go on. Yeah, sorry, really, sorry, sorry. Uh, you know, go on. <laughs> it's alright. Um, diversifying selection, lastly, would be when a population um, sort of tends to take two very separate phenotypes and so th it's sort of like the opposite of stabilizing selection. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Oh, oh, it, it was very nice to meet you, Mr. Darwin. Yeah. I'm sorry, we're out of time now. All right, up next, Britney Spears. He's back.